Hello lovelies, it's Lex and welcome to another house speed build here. We are attempting to do a three bedroom, one bath, a starter here and it actually works out. Um, we do have a little bit of money left over. I would suggest moving your Sims into an empty lot and then placing the house afterwards because there's that weird like simoleon difference thing that happens whenever you would place a house and then you try to move people in and then the price is different and I don't know why it does that but oh well so here's our general layout here kitchen living room dining room are all kind of one room open floor plan kind of thing small hallway the two smaller bedrooms the master bedroom the shared bath for everybody and then there's a porch off the back and then that small porch in the front there I probably could have done this on a slightly larger lot and they would have had a lot more space uh, for in like the backyard area but you know it's a thing where you're trying to do a starter and I try to get lots that are you know either the the 15 by 20s or the 20 by 20 lots because they are substantially cheaper than the other ones so just throwing in some windows here I end up doing um the smaller of the three bedroom well the smallest of the three bedrooms as a unbelievably minimal nursery with just a bassinet and that's literally it um, then the medium bedroom, I end up putting uh, two kids beds in there. So you could theoretically have, you know, three to four children in this starter. Uh, the nursery is definitely large enough to have two kids beds in it if you if you wanted to. So you definitely could get a pretty large amount of time. Uh, spent in this in this house for your family if you were you know wanting to have a larger family but you didn't want to cheat for money and all that kind of stuff there's there's definitely room enough in here for six sims probably so I'm decided to put like an extra little roof on top there and I end up putting two little windows in the front so it's almost just like a little attic crawl space kind of looking thing but I, th I thought it ended up looking really really interesting with the the shape of the rest of the house here so stone in the front and on that upper portion and then everything else is a nice uh just a plain green siding on everything else with the white trim on all the roofs here and then I'm really partial to this scalloped roof that I'm putting on now I tend to use that in a lot of my builds here I don't know why I just I just really like that one I did put the stone uh, foundation on the entire building I thought that that would that it looks really nice with the actual stone front as well as the green siding it didn't look awkward or anything all of the rooms are beige with the wall color except the bathroom which is just white tile I like to do these starter houses extremely plain so that they're really easy for you guys if you download it to go in and just change everything and make it whatever whatever colors that that you want to make it uh let me see here very very small kitchen just really nothing going on cheapest stove cheapest fridge garbage can and then our our little four seater dining room table there I was able, as you can see from that, uh, from the picture there, um, there's a fireplace in here, which was, is pretty exciting when you're doing a starter house because the fireplaces are definitely an extra thing that you, that you don't think of being able to have in a, in a starter house because it's a fireplace. That's like definitely not a necessity. That's an extra, that's an add on. So super tiny bathroom, same thing, worst toilet, worst sink, worst shower, worst everything. Cause it's a starter, you know, they have to build up here. Very minimal on the master bedroom as well. Just the bed and the dresser. The kids room has uh, two beds, so you could get this, you know, and delete a bed and have a little bit more money if you wanted to, but just the same, just that cream color and the blue little end table in between. And I gave them the like, don't wake the llama Jenga kind of whatever that game is for them. And then that nursery, like I said, just that one bassinet. That's it. Very, very plain. And we also have a grill too on this back deck here. I didn't put an outdoor seating area just because like we were running out of money. I mean, this is a starter here. This isn't a, a mansion. But, you know, just very minimal grill. And then if you had saved up some money, you would be able to then, you know, put a little seating area out there. Uh, move objects on is on with this house, but it's really just for that window above the door. Everything else is just placed. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for watching the speed build. The house is available on the gallery if you're interested. And I will see you guys next time.